Thank you. So guys, I have a little 18 month old girl. Thank you. I, uh, jeez. But I love her so much, I do, I love her so much. Like in my world, she's so cute. Like have you ever that kind of cuteness that you just can't handle? Like have you ever, you ever picked up like, you know, like a kitten or a puppy and you're holding it and it's so cute that you kind of want to cave its little fucking face in? <laughs> Yeah, but, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I love her. Like, I would never hurt her. But sometimes I just want to hug her so tight, I want to see her little eyeballs go, ah! <laughs> But how's this? She's 80 months old. What a weapon. She gave my partner, I can't, still can't believe this, a black eye. <laughs> because, you see, the thing is, she had a couple of bad weeks sleep. And uh, we're getting up, obviously, trying to settle her and whatnot. And in that time, uh, she flipped out so much, she smacked Nikki in the face and she gave her a little shiner. But of course, Nikki doesn't remember the inciting incident. She's so tired, bless her cotton socks. And uh, I remember a friend came around and was obviously concerned. She's just like, oh my God, what happened there? And Nikki goes, I don't know. And just left it at that. <laughs> I'm thinking, babe, you need to give that more context. <laughs> well, that sounds like someone gave you that black eye at home and it wasn't your kid. And because I'm so tired and I wasn't thinking it through, I tried to defend myself and I made it heaps worse. Because <laughs> when her friend said, how'd you get that? And she responded with, I don't know. I compounded the situation by leaning across and go, remember, you have to explain that the kid did it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I know we're all addicted to our smartphones. I mean, it's redundant saying it isn't, but um, it's blatantly obvious every time that any human flies in a plane. And rather than just landing on the tarmac and thinking, well, I just flew through the air, your first thought is, when can I turn my big phone back on? <laughs> and I love it that the more budget the airline it is, the longer that wait has to occur. Because <laughs> you see, like, I usually fly Qantas because I'm very successful. <laughs> and... <laughs> The thing is, as soon as you land, the pilot's like, yeah, turn your phone back on, knock yourself out. But if you ever fly on Jetstar, they're like, hey, look, look <laughs> I, know we're on the, I know we're on the tarmac, but the thing is, with your phones and the system here, <laughs> this thing runs off an Atari, and I just... <laughs> the wings are paper masher. I don't know how we got here, so I'm just saying, wait to get to the terminal, and then... Actually, wait to get home, flicking on under the doona, okay? <laughs> Don't take any chances. <laughs> and in a weird twist, when you're flying Tiger, they're like, yeah, flick it on, and can I borrow it? Because I'm out of credit. Is that cool? <laughs> but the thing is, it's affecting my life in a strange way, because now I'm using text speak in professional situations. Like, I'll send an email to you know, like a builder or something, and just a bit of see you soon, kiss. <laughs> and just a little bit of like four letters, are you okay? And he's like, are you? Because I think a 12-year-old stolen your laptop. Like, is everything <laughs> fine? Because it raises a very interesting point. Why in God's name, throughout the English language, have we been spelling out words when letters are already nailing the sound? <laughs> like, if you've already hit the noise with one character, hey, tools down, you've hit your KPI, break for lunch. Like, <laughs> like words like, you know, like C, U, B, letters are already nailing that, guys. Like, the one that annoys me the most is the word that's spelled Q-U-E, U-E. <laughs> and the most ironically spelt word in the English language, there's four vowels standing in a line thinking, I could be anywhere right now, but I'm uselessly standing at the back of this fucking Q. <laughs> that's all for me, thanks guys.